Hello everybody, this is Alpha Echo 6 Oscar Romeo. We're presenting Radio Berry. Here we have uh, <clears throat> our generator, 14.2 megahertz. Uh, we're gonna inject minus 80 dBm. This is the analyzer where we're gonna test the transmit mode. And this is gonna be where we're gonna run the program. Everything is gonna be Wi Fi. Uh, running the Pi, uh, which is uh, B plus 3B plus with uh, 5 gig uh, Wi Fi, so works pretty good. The router is in the other room connected to the internet, but um, so yeah, uh, this is what we're gonna use. Uh, the Raspberry is gonna uh, start the program by itself. Uh, so the uh, Hermes emulator are gonna run in the background No need a monitor for setting up anything and uh, As soon as that starts we're gonna start a power SDR on this uh, uh, Surface Pro 3 and um, Yeah, that's it. So uh, I'm gonna have my helper here film while I'm gonna be b doing the buttoning See you in a it was bit. starting again the other phone uh, ran out of memory so uh, we had to repower the power strip I was not getting power to the the Pi so we're gonna start the program now see if it's connecting yay it's connecting I'm gonna put it on 20 all right Let's see if my button works. Yeah, my button doesn't want to work. I don't know why. Let's put some volume. Oh, my button doesn't work. Anyway, I'm gonna do it like this. Something wrong with the button. Let's go. You can see the signal. USB, 2.9K bandwidth. Uh, we're receiving. Uh, the display shows minus 109, it's not calibrated. Let's calibrate. Let's see. Very strong signal. Go to config. Calibration. Uh, we're gonna do minus 80. 14200. I'm gonna start calibrating. Calibrating. Very complete. Apply. Okay. I'm gonna close. So we're showing minus 80 dB as you can see. Now we're gonna go down. Make sure to capture the, the screen. So we're gonna go down. Minus 90 dB. As you can see minus 90 dB and show the spectrum. You can show both like this. Perfect. Now, gonna go more. Minus 100 dB. As you can see, it shows 99. 110. You can see plenty, plenty of uh, spike on the spectrum. Show the spectrum, Guy. All right, thank you. Now we're gonna go down more. Minus 120. Let's put some more volume here so you can hear the tone. Okay. 
Okay. I'm gonna go down more. Minus 130 dB. The S meter shows minus 120. So now it's behind, but you can still see the, the spike on the display. Uh, I'm gonna narrow this to 2.4K. Okay, going down, minus 140 dBm, and you can still see the spike on the display. Can you magnify the? All right, you can see the spike minus 140 dBm, minus 143. It's, it's still showing. You want to show the display on the generator D? Oh, there. It's minus 143 dBm. So let's go to like minus 140. Okay, this is minus 140 dBm. You can see the connections to the generator directly. No attenuation or amplifier or anything. Minus 140 dBm. And this is this is the signal. Minus 140 dBm. It still shows um, it shows the spike almost at minus 150 there but um, yeah so this is uh, the sensitivity test uh, I hope you like it we're coming back with the transmit test so we're back we're gonna do a test transmit text first we're gonna put on 14 200 14 Point two hundred. Okay, that was easy. Now we're gonna transmit tuning. I'm gonna put drive a full power. So we're reading twenty three milliwatts. Read the display there. Twenty three milliwatts. Okay, so we're gonna set up. Transmit. Um, so we're PA setting. Uh, we're 20 meters. Let's see what maximum we can get from here. Uh oh. Set up a zero. Huh. I'm not used to this thing here. I don't know which way to go. You're going up. Oh, so I'm going down to 10 milliwatts. Oh, I gotta go the other way around. Are you gonna choose to right here? Forty-four milliwatts, which is sixteen dBm. I don't think I can go more than that. This is maximum. He doesn't want to go more than this. So forty-five milliwatts, as you can see, that's all he can do. This little thing. All right, apply. Okay, sixteen point five dBm. I think that's enough. To power something. Yeah, maybe is this all the way here. I think he's all the way. Yep, yeah. that's it. That was the test. 16.5 dBm. See you later. Back. I'm gonna show you how accurate is the TCXO on this radio battery. So I'm gonna transmit. Frequency is 14200. I'm gonna tune, uh, and you can see here about between one and five hertz frequency error. So this is it. 
it's got a little spikes because it's Wi-Fi and uh, the phone next to it and all that stuff so uh, it's, it's got a little bit of spikes from Wi-Fi I'm sure will be clean and perfect from uh, if it would be connected um, Ethernet so uh, let's put an analyzer see how it looks 14200 my analyzer it is let's take the oh no let's put it on the on right input this is it so here the signal this is how it looks this one shows almost 20 dBm on the transmit a little more than uh, what was shown on the receiver side um, I'm not sure how calibrated it is but uh, you can see that it's very clean I'm uh, going one megahertz left and right uh, about uh, 500k left and right and 300k resolution and you can't see any any misery so I think it looks pretty good um, so yeah nothing uh, just uh, very clean my test equipment is not that uh, pro so 500k you can see it's very nice and clean I look a little more bandwidth nothing around so that's the signal on the left and um, no miseries around let's go back here to one megahertz and this to 14.2 there you go this is it that was a transmit test i hope you like it and we're See back we put the antenna and, uh, so my button works now So we're still Wi-Fi 96k. Nice to get out for a change, and uh, <laughs> oh, that's great. 
This is it. Hit him meter on Radio Bay Area. Anyway, this is how my noise is. The antenna on. Now we're going to remove the antenna. This is the noise without the antenna. You cannot even see it on the spectrum scope. Bring the antenna back. This is it. Thanks for watching.